Another big crowd at the cross and plenty for the home fans to get excited about, not least the promise shown by John Kavanagh. He showed great determination and no little skill as he galloped down the wing and caught inside before shooting. A decent effort, much appreciated by the City faithful. Drogheda were looking to bounce back from defeat the previous week to Bray and got their chance midway through the first half. City keeper McNulty upending Gavin Brennan and getting a yellow card from referee Tomás Connolly. His first dive was at the feet of Declan Fabio O'Brien, the second knocking Brennan over theatrically. Drogheda skipper Brennan took the spot kick himself, but maybe he shouldn't have. An extraordinary miss. Cork could have scored following this corner as Darren Dennehy's header hit the crossbar, but the referee thought it was Alan McNally's and awarded another corner. This one was from the left and from Kavanagh's delivery it came back out to him. He put it back into the box where Dan Murray's header hit the underside of the crossbar and was eventually cleared by the Drogheda defence. Into the second half and a clear half-time change of tactics from Caulfield City. Garrod Morris's diagonal ball found the lively Gary Buckley on the edge of the box. And when his shot was blocked, the rebound fell to Liam Carney. His effort sending the shed into ecstasy. Drada got back on level terms within five minutes, Shane Grimes and Fabio combining to set up Mick Daly. And when his shot was blocked, Carl Walsh drilled the ball home. Gary Buckley has been outstanding for City this season and he set up Billy Dennehy here for an effort from distance. And when the shot was saved, who was following up but Buckley for a superb finish into the top corner to leave the score 2-1. Brilliant stuff from the boys in green. And Dennehy himself wouldn't be denied. The free kick king curled this one round the wall and passed Ryan. City still unbeaten and back on top. We tried to change things a, a, a bit at the start. We uh, went out into the up front and um, a mark, and it just didn't work out. In fairness to Drada, they played very, very well in the first half, and obviously we can see the soft penalty, and we were lucky that uh, it was missed. But certainly we did a few things at half time, and uh, we definitely upped the tempo a bit, and we were much, much better in the second half. Yeah, barely disappointed. Um, you know, we had enough chances in the first half, especially with the penalty as well. You know, to to go in maybe two or three, and it would have been a fair reflection on the game. You know, so. The lads are bitterly disappointed in there. I'm bitterly disappointed for them, you know, but there's learning lessons and uh, we have another game now on Monday, so we get ready for that.